Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is a very quick tutorial just to show you how to set up uh, sub clips for um, working with SVN within Eclipse. Um, it's very simple. Uh, I'll, I'll copy these uh, URLs in the video description. Um, but if you go to the sub clips download uh, page or update URL page, um, and you'll see the different release versions here. I'm going to take the latest one, which uh, we will then put into Eclipse for it to update. Um, so you see here this one, update 1.10x. Uh, so copy that. Uh, you have to check out which uh, release version you need for your Eclipse version. I've got the latest one, the Kepler here, so that's why I'm using number 10. Um, and then basically you click Help and go to Install New Software. And from here you click Add. And I'm going to call that sub clips and then paste the update URL in, click OK, and you'll see it give you a number of options. Um, these are the ones that I go for, obviously the required ones. Uh, the Java HL native library, and then I pretty much leave the rest. Um, you can use the merge client here uh, if you like, but I prefer I, I prefer not to use it. Um, I've had some merge problems in the past with it, so uh, other people will find with it, but anyway. Um, so if you just click next and just install those three, it's the bare minimum. Accept the terms conditions. Okay, and then we can restart the clips. Okay, it should be loading. Okay, great, and we can change the view. So we now got SVN. So you should see here we've got the separate views. Uh, resources I don't need at the moment. We'll get rid of that. Uh, and from here, we can now click this little icon and add an SVN repository. Um, I've got an external one that I'm going to use. I'll show you in another video about how to set up your own SVN repositories locally and stuff, um, which you can check out uh, later. I haven't recorded it yet. Uh, so we just need repository, so add okay, so we'll import that in now. And um, we see we've got basic trunk tags and branches. Um, I've got a few on branches that I'm just going to check out for now. It's my own framework that I've been working on for a little while. Uh, so check that out. Now by checking that out, uh, we just just click finish there. Click on PHP project. That might not be expanded for you, but uh, you can find that there. Click next and give it a name. So that framework. This will basically bring it into the, the PHP workspace, so we can actually work on the files. At the moment, this is just within the SVN version control system. So you you can't work directly on on the files here from SVN Repository Explorer. So now if I go over to PHP, the checkout has now brought it over to here, so I can actually work within this. Now there's some other things you need to uh, consider here, uh, which is setting up ignores. If I click uh, Team, and see that it's not working. Ah, yeah, still checking out. Sorry. <clears throat> see here, it's uh, SVN is only 12% complete. So let's wait for that to finish. Okay, that's the uh, project checked out from SVN now. Um, there's some other things you need to consider, which is uh, setting up some ignores uh, settings for folders and files. Because um, if I go synchronize repository, you will see that it's got some files here in a settings folder that we don't want to be committing to SVN. So if you go to Window Preferences and basically then go to Team, Ignored Resources, and add a pattern and just basically add settings. Um, we also, let's apply that, we also want to set up ignores for build path and project just in case. Um, it's probably fine not to include that, otherwise it would have shown up in the synchronized window. In fact, yeah, that is fine. 
it's fine it's just a navigator window okay thanks for watching guys and please click the little thumbs up if um, you found help on this video i uh, greatly appreciate that okay bye